Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Xeno Gears. Now, we have access to our gears, and, well, yeah, we can access their equipment and all that sort of stuff, but uh, first things first, one thing I want to do is rearrange my equipment setup here, starting with Bart, who comes with, well, the red mail's a little stronger than what we've had before. But otherwise, eh, not too much that's extraordinary. Now, I'm actually going to equip regular, well, equipment on foot for Faye because, well, I'm going to have him on foot coming up here. And Bart is going to be in his gear. So let's just give him stuff that will actually transfer over to gears there. Okay, so we got all that. Now... Just like with characters, we have equipment for the gears themselves. But they're pretty much identical to the characters. Like Faye, yeah, Veltal doesn't get any weapons, just like Faye. Uh, Brigandier gets a whip, just like uh, Bart does for his weapon there. Okay, so for Veltal here, let's give him some extra armor, boost up his defense a little bit, although I'm not going to use him right away. And let's see, with Brigandier, let's give him the extra armor plus one, which is, well, a little stronger than the regular extra armor. And I want to give him the old circuit to boost his response stat. The way response works is it boosts your accuracy equal to the response, so 10% in this case, and it boosts your ev physical evasion by half of your response stat. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so now what I want to do is go over here and have Faye get off Veltal here so that way I can keep working on his death blows while Bart is going to be tanking all the hits with his gear. In this dungeon, I think pretty much every enemy here will either attack your gear before attacking characters on foot or they're small enough for Faye to be able to take care of on foot anyway. Okay. Ah, there it is. Okay, so we're looking for this huge rock, or we could fight a random battle first. Why not? Okay, we got these guys. Medusoids. The like Metroids, except less death. But okay, let's see. What do we got here? Let's go... Yeah, let's go with a fierce attack and two weak attacks. Now, what these guys can do is they can uh, charge up an attack... And if they did that, I would want to kill them relatively quickly. I think Faye can kill the one there, though. So, yeah, he'll get his turn quickly enough, and he can finish them off. Now, the way combat works when you have gear... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to want Bart to attack that guy. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Medusoids, by the way, have... Oh, that didn't kill him. Huh. Okay. But yeah, Medusoids, as you can see, do not have a whole lot of defense despite being gear-sized enemies. Now, most enemies that are gear-sized will... What is it? They'll usually attack your characters in gear before attacking anyone on the ground. So, I can basically just let Brigandier sit there and have my characters on foot just attack anything that's gear-sized. Hmm. Okay. So, what we need to do is get in our gear now. Even though we left it behind, you could just get in your gear. Actually, let me show something else off. You could just get in your gear by pressing the L2 and R2 buttons. Ha-ha! And you can dismount like that too. But that applies to your entire party. So once we push this boulder out of the way, then I'm going to have to go back into my menu to get Faye to dismount Veltal again. And continue onward there. Hey, help out! What are you doing there? Put your back into it! Yeah, you got those jet packs. Might as well use them. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H. 
see Bailey. If you're going to keep one character on foot, why not do that for Bart there to learn his death blow? And you could do that. Uh, Bart actually already has one death blow. And the next death blow that he can get isn't that much more powerful than what he's got right now. So I'm not putting that on as high of a priority. Not to mention, Bart is not going to be around all the time. So it's not as beneficial. Although I will eventually work on his death blows. Just not right now. We need someone in gear, because if you have both characters on foot, then the gear-sized enemies will annihilate you. And most of the enemies here are gear-sized. <laughs> I like his reaction there. Yeah, they're just... They're, they're not coming for us. So, we're on our own here. Well, I hope so. Or I hope Doc's okay. I wish I would have known you guys were good guys before you attacked us. I mean, I thought you were, like, holding me at gunpoint. Literally. Well, you don't have guns on yours. You have whips, but yeah. Besides, I was just thrown in jail. I'm kind of paranoid after that. Oh, um, well, yeah, you were spamming Wild Smile on me over and over and over again. Even though there was really no point. I don't think it stacks. I think you it's just a stats. You cast it once, and it cuts your hit rate by 50 there. Well, we should get out of the cave first. Besides, you wouldn't have been able to get past that boulder without my help either. Yeah, let's get out of here, dude. Yeah, then I will kick your ass. Ha ha. Okay, now you might have noticed when we got into this cave, there was a chest around here. At least I think it was here. But, okay, let's see. First things first... Oh, no, I need to get into the gear menu. Let's dismount, get that going, and then we'll be good. Okay, now around here. No? Okay, I guess it's further down then. Ah, there it is. I knew there was something around here. Hey, that could be sold for 2,000 money, whatever the currency is in this game. Yeah, it looks kind of weird having a human or character on foot next to a gear, but it's good for developing the death blows, so that's why I want to do that. By the way, speaking of death blows, Bart gets three experience per move towards learning his death blows there, so that's pretty nice. If you wanted to grind out his next death blow, hey, go nuts, but I don't think it's worthwhile. I'll, I want to uh, take care of Bart's death blows. What is it? Yeah, I want to do that later, not right now. Okay, so let's see. We got the big guy there. That guy can actually drop extra armor plus one. It's not a ultra common drop, but it's not rare either. But I'm going to have Faye work on these guys down here since he actually can do that. And Bart can take on the big Tin Robo guy there. I think that's his name. Yeah, Tin Robo. Let's see, that guy could also drop regular extra armor, which is not what I want. But I'll see what we can do. But let's see, since I'm fighting mostly enemies in gears, where Faye is not going to be as effective, I'm just going to work on his fierce attacks, since I'm not depending on him to actually hit the enemy. Of course, it is nice if my fierce attacks can hit them. And by the way, even if you miss on an attack, you still get credit for it towards learning death blows. 
But alright, we're looking pretty good here. Hey, alright! Let's see, with that, yeah, let's give that to Veltal there. So, whatever extra armor plus ones you can get, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. There is a shop that does sell them, although I'm generally not a huge fan of buying extra armor for gears. I do that more so early in the game. Later on, not so much. Yeah, unfortunately, we can only walk down here on a 45 degree angle. And it's kind of hard to see where I'm going with Brigandir in the way. Oh, and by the way, even though it looks like we left Veltal back there, don't worry about it. We can get back in it wherever we are. Oh, hey, we got a gear here. Or some other gear. Yeah, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, that was probably from us crashing in here, huh? Oh, well, didn't work too well on our end. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Maybe someone else is around here. Nah, eh, I wouldn't worry about it, but what else do we got going on around here? Oh, right, you already told us that. Hmm. Well, maybe we could take a look for that shelter. Maybe some guys can help us out. Hopefully it's not the Ava guys. Ah, hey, hey, there's the shelter he was talking about. Sounds like a plan. Now let's see, these platforms are too high for human-sized characters to jump onto. <laughs> yeah, that's not working, so yeah, we gotta get in Veltal to get around anywhere. Yeah. Huh. I'm surprised I could get into a battle here. The encounter rate here is, must be, like, really, really low, but... Okay, we've got another new enemy here. Mayfly! I've heard this guy can attack human-sized characters. But I don't think I've ever seen that personally. So I wouldn't be worried about it. But as you can see, our regular attacks aren't doing a whole lot, so we're going to need to go with some death blows to take this guy down. And he does have a lot of HP. Oh wow, this is going to take quite a while. So yeah, uh, Bart only has his first death blow. Wow, this guy really is going to take a while to take down. Yeah, I'm guessing they were expecting you to actually make it in the house because we get some upgrades there. But I didn't quite make it. Maybe because I was spending too much time goofing around. Oh, yeah, I suppose since my fierce attacks aren't doing anything, I might as well just use my weak attacks to build up my attack level there. This guy has like 555 HP. Normally, it would not take so long to kill the guy, but... Yeah, we didn't get our our upgrades here, so that's. Oh yeah, you might have noticed the Mayfly there has an attack that can reduce your defense. You can see that in the armor loss stat on the right side there. I don't think Bart can do anything about that, but let's see, Faye has a corresponding ability there. Let me see what we got. Let's see, yeah, we got inner healing, which we could use to remove that armor loss, but I'm not extraordinarily worried about it, because this battle is not going to last that long. Well, I guess it is a good thing that we're both in gears. Otherwise, I would have ended up fighting this guy with just friggin' deer, and this guy would have taken immensely longer to kill. Well, maybe not immensely, more like twice as long. Whoa, this guy is actually dealing some remotely threatening damage. <laughs> well, we'll be able to uh, refuel, I believe, coming up here. So, well, 
not, well, yeah, not just refuel, but also repair the gears. So we'll see what we can do. Let's see, this guy can also drop the extra armor plus one. And it's actually a very common drop from this guy. So we should be able to get it from him. Of course, that depends on actually killing the guy first. Which I'm having a bit of trouble doing. Hmm, maybe I should have actually used my boosters. I don't think I've ever fought this guy before reaching the shelter there. So, yeah, that's why I'm not entirely prepared here. But, yeah, I'm not extraordinarily worried about it. My armor... Yeah, we've almost got the guy. You can tell we've got him on his knees. On your knees! Ha! Gotcha! Wow, that took enormously longer than it should have. But, well, we got them all the same. Hooray! Oh, well. No extra armor plus one. But we get an eyeball that can sell for some decent money. Man, I was like two steps away! Come on! But alright. Yeah, even though we were in our gears, we would have, well... Just assume we actually dismounted from our gears because the entrance was too small. Hey, how's it going? So you the guy in charge down here? Who do you work for? Or if not, who do you work for? Um, yeah, we've just been... Yeah, goofing around, I guess. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, yeah. How do you even know that? Oh, well, I suppose if you've been working on them long enough. Oh, do you have any just happening to lie around? Oh, well, we've been jumping around and all that stuff, so... How's it going? Do you have some Wings of Time for me? No. No, that's another game, viewers. Oh, what do you collect around here? Oh, good for you. So you're just like a crazy old hermit here or something, huh? Oh, what kind of fossils? Oh, well then why isn't anyone else around here trying to collect the ancient machines? Maybe they think it, it's all empty or they've got everything around here, huh? Oh, something like that it looks like. I'm trying to think of a, what is it, a young Frankenstein reference. That would be an old reference, though, even for me. Great movie, though. What's different? Oh, hmm, I wonder why that is. Hmm. I thought we would have been around for much longer than that. Hmm. Well, thanks for the info. I'm not really sure what relevance that has to us. But remember that for later, viewers. Yeah, because as we all know, in JRPGs, all myths, legends, and rumors are 100% accurate. Absolutely. What story? Well, evidently that didn't work out too well for us, huh? I 
Oh, well, that would be a hard prospect. I don't know if that's good or bad for us, but okay. It looks like Graf is a little late on all this then, huh? I mean, he wanted to destroy God, but he's well, evidently gone now. But all right, so how do we get out of here? Oh, okay. You might have noticed, I don't know if you could see it from the camera angle, but there's a huge door outside that we can't get past. And we need to find a way to open that. And that'll take us to the exit. Oh, okay. So, no one knows that you're here. And no one's gonna come to rescue us? Well, we already knew that. Nuts. What kind of deal? Nuts. Um, yeah, just rough housing, I guess. All right. Sounds like a plan. You might have noticed a little blinking sensor when we came in here. It was on an upper platform. We couldn't get it to, or we couldn't get to it from where we were before, but once you get around here, you can. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, we could use some uh, refueling at the very least, so... Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, let's go with some gear parts, yes. So yeah, I don't need to buy anything on... Um... Well, you'll see, okay. So this is the first opportunity we really have to upgrade our gears. Let's see, well, there's no weapons here. We got some accessories here, just the one. Eventually, I may want to buy some extra armor plus ones, but I'm going to wait on that for now, see what I can win from the enemies around here while, while I'm going around anyway. But the real upgrades for gears are from tune-ups. We have three parts here, the engine, frames, and the armor here. The engine is what determines your fuel capacity and your attack power. I don't, I don't think the letter at the beginning means anything, but the number to the left of the dash, that's a multiplier for your attack power. So that's pretty nice. The number to the right is the your fuel capacity there. And then we got engines here. That purely determines how much HP your gear gets. So obviously the more, the better. So let's grab that. And let's see, for the armor here, that... Yeah, the number is the only part that actually matters, and in this case, yeah, that improves your physical defense there as well. So, let's see. Let's tune up Brigandier as well. So, yeah, get all the same upgrades for him. Well, except the Brigandier one. Hmm, well, we don't have a Heimdall gear, but I don't know why they uh, sell that here. I don't think we can ever get back here. But if there is a way to get back in here, let me know. But I don't think there is, once we're done with this dungeon. But, okay, we got all those upgrades. Now, go to fuel. Fortunately, restoring the HP and fuel of your gears is relatively painless there. But, all right, so that's everything we can get there. We will be coming back here once we're done with uh, tinkering with the sensors 
and everything, and, well, then we can find a way out of here. But can we find where the sensors are around in this huge cavern? Find out next time on Let's Play Xenogears. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.